Hey there, Ross from Pilot Hobbies, and today we're going to be taking my Windows Mixed Reality headset, the HP variety, and adding a nice little head strap. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so you're the proud owner of a HP Mixed Reality headset, and you like this part, but not this part so much. So that's kind of been one of my biggest gripes with that HP Mixed Reality headset. And by the way, I love my Mixed Reality headset. I think they don't get enough attention. It's a very good VR headset. I've tried a Vive, I've tried an Oculus, and honestly, I really don't mind my HP headset in comparison. It's got a high-def display. I haven't had any issues with the controllers. Anywho, that's not what this video is about. It's about correcting this Halo headset mount. These are nice because um, they're easy to put on, and they don't really mess up my hair, which I appreciate. Um, but they don't hold to your face very well, especially if you're doing a very active VR game. Uh, if I'm looking down at my inventory or just looking at the ground, uh, it tends to kind of fall off my face a bit and expose a bunch of light, and then I don't have a good time. So, I ended up picking up one of these little head straps from like one of those cheap dollar VR phone things that you get at Walmart. Um, I actually bought it not for this purpose, I bought one just to try it to see how terrible it was, and, um... I ended up throwing away the headset, but I thought the strap was okay. So I'm going to try to make a mount that takes this head strap, like this, and puts it on my mixed reality set. And to do that, I've got a couple 3D printed brackets. Now these are just a couple little, I mean, real simple, just a little 3D printed bracket with a hole in it. Um, and I've got a bunch of these standoffs and screws. So what I'm planning on doing is just kind of um, threading one of these on each side, like that. Just to make little brackets for those to go around. And then I'm just going to glue them to the headset. So if you want to take off the head strap on your mixed reality headset without wrecking it, just in case you want to go back to it, um, there's actually just these four little screws on the top of here. They're just under a piece of tape that covers them up. Uh, you should just be able to peel that off, take the screws out, and pull. Uh, there is like a little click connector in there. You can pull it pretty hard, it probably won't break. Stupid, but I figured I'd share because this is an amazing revelation to me. I can just move this picture in picture anywhere I want. I don't have to have it in the corner. I've been using this software for a couple weeks, a couple months actually. Just found that out. Check this out, no more blocked view. looks right at home on the side of there. Now I'm I am noticing that there's a little bit of curve on the headset. So what I might do, I'll just probably sand it on here so it sands to that curvature. Hmm. Yeah, I think that'll work. So there we go, we got three of them ready to go. This one I'm keeping flat, just because it's going on a flat surface. Actually, I should probably sand that one. That's some good glue, TLR Racing. As you can tell from the RC cars in the background. starting to turn out pretty nice. Well, I have yet to test it out, but it honestly looks kind of stock, which is pretty nice. And uh, honestly, I did put this on before doing this, but it feels really good. It's really comfortable. I mean, I guess I could post the 3D printed plans for these little brackets. I mean, they're really, really basic, but yeah, all in all, just those little brackets. 
um, some M3 screws. And, but uh, anyways, thanks for watching. If you want to do something similar, good luck. Um, if you like this video, hit that like button. Um, I appreciate subscriptions as well. So, you know, they really went for the RoboCop vibe with these headsets. Like seriously, go Google RoboCop. Yeah, no, like it's... That's the biggest thing I'm impressed with, is I get a wider field of view with this, because it presses it firmly to my face. And because it holds firm to my face, it's like, I don't get all that weird wiggle and light. Like, it feels like a whole different headset almost now. This is really awesome. It's just so much more comfortable, too. No, like, this was a good idea. This was a very good idea. I've had very bad ideas before, and this was actually a good one.